Bag Rolo has the advantage in Brighton Stock sets, but they're pretty even because Sussex tournament. So yeah. Hero versus Lucas. Now, I've seen Panda King play Pokemon Trainer against Bag Rolo's Lucas, it hasn't always gone amazingly. Uh, and Rodo is a very emotional player, so pulling out random hero stuff is sure to affect his gameplay. Pretty even right now. I was talking to Rodo about how he plays this matchup, and he says just patience is the main thing, which kind of goes against how he plays normally. He's a pretty aggro player. And he's just edged off the stage, and oh, but he's fine. He's fine. And it gave Panda King time to set up that psycho. Again, that's straight forward. Still really even right now. I'll be able to shield pretty good with their frame 4 or something, but not quite sure. Panicking with that fully charged neutral be Pretty scary. Okay, he's got the bounce that kind of negates Lucas's ability to pressure with PK Fire. And he's just popped the neutral be Rodo going a bit aggressive with the downer off stage there. And Hero Slide a very powerful poking tool. Lucas is selling pretty good. Forward throw, not gonna take it. He's got the edge guard scenario. Kaboom, pretty good ledge trap. If he were further out, but no. And again, Rodo kinda going off stage there, even though panicking was nowhere near. So, a bit confusing. Yeah, that forward tilt. Okay, so the thunder off stage is gonna kinda deplete panicking's mana, because he had to use it when recovering just then. Side B, getting off stage, and that's the first stop to panicking. That dragged on a bit though, and onto right back with the forward air. <laughs> uh, an attempt at a whack, a bit BM, 1.2 damage. Rodo is walking into these a bit. Kind of goes against what he told me, but oh well. Kind of going to Panda King like can get these hits. But now he's looking a bit slower. PK fires on deck. PK fire. Forward air, PK fire. He's just poking him from a distance, taking his time. Very safe options coming out from Roto right now on that. Thunder into Forward air. He's going to take the stock. Time to fight. Panda King Classic, he'll just go in and try and cheese you as soon as he spawns. But he's really not getting anywhere, Rodo is applying a lot of pressure right now. There's the backer, and he's got the oomph. There's trap situation for that backer, not quite enough to take it. Trying to neutral his snipe, oh and the corner, yep, yeah. Rodo is very aggressive off ledge. Back throw again, not enough, whack. Kaboom, outplayed. <laughs> Panda King with a classic Kaboom off stage. The Panda King. And now Panda King is kind of approaching a bit more with normals. He was taking his time before. That's why he just like that, that fade back. It's good to bait Rodo in. But Rodo, as well, playing very patient. But that fair was unsafe on shield, not safe very well. So he gets the reversal, he gets the sizzle. Half charge slide being very powerful. They're barely whiffing that F tilt sending off. Rod is just swinging, but even with that parry, not enough frame advantage. Very close. Oh, Rod is pressing buttons in his face. For Lucas. Oh, the forward smash. Oh, he's, he's reaching for it. That forward air root. Very nearly took it. This could really go either way. But, oh, panicking off stage and that thunder takes him off. Game 1 going to Bag Rodo. A little bit of background on these players. Rodo is, I mean, there aren't any Lucases, but he's probably one of the best active Lucases. Out of the two or three yeah, that there are, I agree. Oh, the, the rest of the good, the rest of the good Lucas's has kind of left the country. But oh well, yeah. you know. And we take those. Yeah, we take those. We now take the those. top one Lucas. Oh, Playing for you on the stream today.
Panicking on the other hand. He's a good Pokemon trainer, but sometimes he's just not seen in Pokemon trainer. He'll go to the hero because he doesn't have to think his time. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's how you finish. Now we're going to the Battlefield. Kind of understand this choice. Roto was playing very patiently, so sort of less space on stage. But then again, Lucas gets these edge guards. I don't really know if it's that useful to have less stage than whether you were playing in like Pokemon Stadium or Town. And Pumpkin beginning to respond to this pressure, but then Roto's putting back up another PK fire. Yes, another PK fire. That one's parried. Gets a bit of an opening. Down tilt. Down tilt is good now. Any side piece. Frodo, press some more buttons. Another side B. Another up the off stage. Very good gifting tool for Lucas, it's the obvious off stage. And that forward air C spot, just about takes it. Panicking with the bounce, though his PK fires won't be a problem for a little bit, but Roto forgets and gets hit by his own PK fire. Yeah, stalling out the bounce. Snoo's barely missing. I'll be out of shield. Okay, Roto. Getting more aggressive now. Not for long, he's off stage again with the bounce, and Roto is going to stall out the bounce a little bit. Hang on the ledge. Fourth throw with the side cut. Still not taking it. He's get, panicking, he's getting a lot of these grabs. Maybe Roto needs some mix up landings a little bit. Got a bounce again. The Roto's learned, he's not going to PK fire him anyway while he's in bounce. Now the back air. Taking the first slot. 2 to 2. Oh, and instant double side V. Roto's throwing off ledge again. Side B barely messing off to that back air. Yeah, these close ranges Roto just wants to press in there, no shield. Fair speed spot, and the Thunder off stage. Classic Lucas game, but it doesn't quite get it. Down tilt into other buttons. Absorbing the snooze. I don't I didn't see if he actually got any HP off of that. I don't think he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you don't get anything. Ah, uh, the forward air. Taking that spot. Forward air sweet spot, very powerful and very large. Kinda of dumb. It is. But Lucas is bad anyway, so he gets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he gets away with it. Flame Slash. Roto not being particularly careful. He is just pressing those buttons in his face. Doesn't really care. Just, just down to it. Yeah. But he's getting a lot of momentum right now, getting lots of hits. Four tilt. Oh, on the bounce, is Roto going to stall? No, nope. unlike the other times, he's just going to go right for it. I think he wants to close this game out. Forward tilt. Nah. Down smash a bit. Look, the just moved up the out smash, reading the neutral get up. That is 2 0 to bag Roto. And I don't know how to use the stream setup, so it's gonna say it's 1 0, but it's 2 0. It's 2 0. To, to be a good guy gamer, Roto. To be a good guy gamer, Roto. Will panicking, stay on the hero. Will he switch back to his Pokemon trainer? Seeded for Roto to win. Even though in their last encounter, I believe panicking won. No, I'm not entirely sure. And he's playing Cloud. Cloud is a bit of a one-on choice considering Lucas has the PK Thunder game. But we'll see how it goes. Town and C does make a bit of sense, you know, you've got more stage and so you can focus on playing the on-stage game rather than getting gimped too early. And getting those clean confirms. That forward smash was a bit ratchet, but well, Roto just fell for it, so it's okay. And he's got quite a good lead here, and he's got limit. 
Of course it will run out if he doesn't use it. And it's run out. Frodo just pressing buttons in his face, timing it out. He's gonna charge it up a bit. Back air, off bait him in. Popping the limit instantly. Now I guess the reason that Panicking would want to play Fard in this matchup is because Lucas does kind of struggle against his strikes. Headshot, yeah, how's Rodo gonna get out? He's just gonna roll into the middle of the stage. I'll be out shield. Pretty classic. And the back air. Very solid kill move from Cloud. I'll be out of shield. Back air. I'll be out of shield. Back air. And the side whiffs. Water, not that safe. And oh, we're not gonna see the games because he interrupts it with the RP. Narrowly dodges that one for B, but dash tag sweet spot. Takes Banner King's first stop. Now he's playing a bit slower, but Rhoda's got that absorb, so another RP. RP again. I mean, when Rhoda's being this aggressive. On Pan King Shield, it makes sense to just go for those up moves. And there we go, there again. If Bagrodo is gonna just press now on his shields, what else he gonna do? There you go, back off stage. He's using the platforms pretty smartly there to get back on. I'll be out of shields. Anytime he's doing anything unsafe. He's not hesitating to just press up move. But that was safe. Uh, but the forward smash... Just with me. Because spot dodge is broken. Yeah. Which we're missing barely again, but the dashback forward smash. Casual classic. Puppy out, you. How will he steal the stock? He's fishing for that back air. Tried to go for the forward tilt there. Probably because he was... Flicking the CC towards the edge of the stage. Okay, uh, it's charging Limit because he sees that Rodo's being more patient and he closes up the second stock. Last stock for both players, panicking as a limit. He uses that opportunity where Rodo was using PK Freeze in order to get that late beam off. Air dodging on the stage, he missed to avoid that. Very smart play from panicking right now. There gets parried, only a jab though. Parried again. Oh, that's Tomahawk grab. First time I've seen it. Up here. You know, I don't even think any all of these up no, these are not all of these up are actually. But it's funny to say. Well, there you go. <laughs> they might Up B when he does something unsafe near it. And Balimic Cross Slash will take the game. 2-1 to Bag Rodo. Can panicking pull the reverse 3 0. And will he stay on cloud? Let's see. He's banning something, but he's mumbling. <laughs> Rodo taking his time <laughs> to choose which stage he is going to, and he is going to smash Phil. What's that? I saw an animal crossing stage, I looked away for a moment. Oh, um, and King Pokemon Trainer, his actual main. Yeah, you can now choose a different character. He chooses first and then... He, he chooses Pokemon Trainer, now you can do what you want. Oh, stage. Uh, stage doesn't... Yeah, stage character. Yeah, you do character stage in other games, because... Yeah. Stage guy. Sigh moment from back right there. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. Um, anyway, they're going to Smashville. Rodo doesn't really want to go Smashville against Pokemon Trainer, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I know. So yeah, finally Panicking's main, and he's starting with Ivysaur. Given that Lucas does, as I said before, struggle a bit with disjoint, so yeah, as you can see, he's trying to space without fair that down tilt. Oh, 
People that play Hero of the Belief that Squirtle loses this matchup. And uh, that would be why Pan King's chosen to go Ivysaur. But Lucas just throwing out those Pico Fires. And something that uh, Roto does in this matchup is that while Ivysaur is trying to land, he'll throw out a forward smash to try and preempt like, Ivysaur throwing out a Razor Leaf as he lands. Anyway, right now, Panic King's been in but that fair reversal. He was in disadvantage for quite a while, but that fair forward tilt. But it's smartly absorbing the flames. Oh, and the Abbey Art Shield. The Milo E. <laughs> that is the Milo E. That grab, 4 throw, not gonna kill. Kill throw is not. Uh, Flamethrower, not hitting the tether. Dash attack, buff, but still not really a kill move. That Flamethrower, remiss. As Rolo forward out and forward out again to take the first stop. But it's hardly undoable for Pan King, who has nearly taken this first stop. He's forced to switch back into Charizard though to mix up his recovery. They'll be whiffing, because he's out of range. And Rolo going off with his up airs. Up -air strings on Charizard. Pokemon training disadvantage, notoriously not amazing. <laughs> though some people say Switch saves it but it's still not great individually as each Pokemon. Oh, and that uh, out smash out of shield being countered by Rhoda's out smash out of shield. Can Panikin close out his first slot? Oh, and the Ratchet up beam after the switch, taking the stop. And one. No, yeah, he won. Not looking too great for Panda King right now, his stock's not, not looking that healthy. And this is his winner's bracket stock. But Pokemon Trainer's got good swing potential, given how strong and explosive Ivy Swords and Charizard's moves are. A few good reads. He's not necessarily out of this. Only one stock down in percent now. Hold that back air, calling out the jump. Down to last stock. Can Panda King pull out this reverse three stock? Roto patient on the shield, he's not going in too close, he doesn't want to get over the 4 tilt. Flame fur. He's just going to try and down the yet. Panicking pulls it out with a dash attack. Oh. This is much closer than it was just a few minutes ago. That'll be our shield, armoring through the tilts. It's got him off stage, what's he going to do? He's hanging on stage for too long, he gets hit. The down smashed, 2 framing him. Game 4 to Panda King. The reverse 3 stock. Dotty confounded <laughs> by Panda King's win. How, how could Pokemon Trainer jank out stocks like that? Oh, no way. Pokemon Trainer come back. Beautiful play from Panda King right there at the end. Playing very patiently. As Roto was, but he was calling out Roto's options as he was trying to space around the shield. So, yeah, game 5. Winner goes into winner's semis to play against Micro. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, person. Just saying. <laughs> it's, it's the Micro E. Yeah. Third of Power Solo commentary extraordinaire. I can't bring any hype, unfortunately. I'm just doing. I'm, hard, I'm right? literally just bringing analysis. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> so okay. sad. You're, you're the, you're yeah. the, you want the shout casting. <laughs> I'm doing golf commentary, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> bring a ding? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I did a complete world of light. Do you need to complete the one like again? No, it's just a. Oh, well, I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I play the game, I don't play the shop. Oh. 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 I'm, a, I'm a real. <laughs> anyway, back to Pokemon Trainer. Uh, back on the Ivysaur again. Of course. Squirtle, not amazing. Is this our first game five? This is the first game five. On stream, on stream. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've had plenty of game fives outside the stream, but. I think on stream this is our first game 5. And um, we're going to one of Roto's favourite battlefield variants, maybe his favourite. He's taken me here before. Game 5 will lose his finals. Pan King starting off strong with his back airs out of shield. Oh, dash attack, yeah. Good for up off the back air. Roto finally getting some hits in. Keep game 5's. 
Okay, jabbing on the platform. Let's input there. Rota takes advantage. Gets about 16 damage off of that DK Thunder. And then a little, a little more on the second. I, mm, I feel like I was trying to be an out, uh, out shield option, but he just can't. Oh, and the up the out shield. Rota is just pressing those salts in the shield, so the armor of up the probably the best option. Back throw. Again, off stage. Flame throw absorbed. Flame throws again, but holds up. Dash tap. Just patiently reading his gap options. What's gonna do? Uh, tries to call out something, but doesn't quite get it. Redo but putting out those hitboxes. And the up smash. Bit of a cross up there. Not quite enough. Another up smash, but Redo wasn't there. And Redo taunts because he's a little bitch. So, okay. Yeah. And watch this pack. No, how I feel. 21 damage off that PK freeze. Tries to go for another one. He's not going to have the invincibility, and Anakin takes advantage. He has to get off instantly. He hits him with a down smash. Back throw back there. Oh, back throw forward there. Proto putting himself in a little bit of a bad situation. Anakin's regained the lead, and he's led shuffling pretty solidly. Down smash. Nothing. And Roto finally makes his way back onto stage, but he's already back in disadvantage. Thrown off again. Absorbing that thing for again. It's, it's <laughs> pretty bread and butter at this point, and that down smash 2 frame. It's just going through the motions, you know? Fan King's done that so consistently in the set now with Charizard. Roto's struggling to find his footing on the stage. He was trying to call out an impatient option from handing him down with the up smash, but he wouldn't buy it. Down smash missing. Yeah, and once again, Roto is being pushed into the corner of the stage. It really looks like Panikin has a lot of control here, just with his flamethrower. Well, but Forda is regaining some control. And that up smash will break the shield, yeah. So, last slot, game 5. Last slot, game 5. Okay, we got the Ivysaur. Down throw up there. Pretty standard. Got quite a bit of damage on there. Raise a leaf. Tries to go for a flop. Doesn't get it. Plays off stage against Ivysaur now. Oh, but Charizard. Once again, ledge trapping. Back on it. Tries to pull out the jump. The Roto jumps back. I'll be out shield whiffs. What sort of punish is he gonna get? There, no, up there. Greedy on the up B, but Roto doesn't do anything. The backer nearly taking it. Absorption again. Here we are again in this situation. Roto getting that second PK Thunder. Oh, up throw on the platform. Is it going to take it? Not quite. Up throw isn't that strong. Flame thrower on the edge. Trying to call out a jump. Roto's with him there. Backer. Very scary. Charles our backer in this situation. Oh, grabs. Clanking. Nah, not safe. Down tilt, down tilt, forward tilt. Oh, very even right now. Lost it. Oh, the flare bits! Taking the win. Unexpected option. Panicking, moving on to win a semi final. 3 2. I've got to play Panicking now. <laughs>